In Germany, they have a new phenomenon called Pegida, where tens of thousands of Germans go on the streets with German flags and shout, We are the people. And this new wave is all packed in political correctness, where anyone feels the message, We are the German people, instead, transpiring through that thin layer of political correctness. Pegida stands for P for patriotic, E for Europeans, G the German word for against, I for Islamization, D for of or by, and A for Abendland, meaning Christian Western Europe, in the sense of WASP, white Anglo-Saxon, Protestant, in the German equivalent. Through the sly political correctness you can smell Switzerland behind it again, just as they maneuvered Hitler in place, all smiling through their teeth. And instead of saying against Islam, they say against Islamization. Instead of nationalist Germans, they say patriotic Europeans, simultaneously trying to drag the rest of Europe in for their Swiss goals. And using the medieval word Abendland, to sub substitute Christianity, an undefined word brought back from the Crusades that no one really understands anyway. Abend means evening in German, and land as in English. Opposing the word Morgenland, or morning land for the Orient, Middle East, or Islam as a whole. And there is no German who can explain you how the land of evening relates to Christianity and the white western world, and how the land of mourning relates to Islam and the Orient. Do Europeans live in the evening only, or do Arabs have no evenings at all? So they all follow a slogan without even knowing what it really means, or how typical. But it has in fact a meaning only Pharaoh's aristocracy understands, together with their base Switzerland, want war again, for the others only who don't even seek to understand the name they're running behind. Only Pharaoh, the initiates and the Freemasons know, and therefore we know they are behind it again, playing peoples and religions out against each other, inventing this new organization, Pegida. Well, I'll explain what Abendland means. Just imagine the human evolution of civilization as 24 hours or a day cyclists. Then, in the morning, Pharaoh consolidated his power on earth over mankind alongside River Nile in ancient Egypt, and extended over Persia, Greece and Rome into Europe later on. And therefore we can assume it is 10 to 12 now, before total reign of the new world order and sheer evil over us all. The French and Russians understood and revolted up against their masters of the aristocracy, unfortunately quickly beaten down by Pharaoh's masonry and infiltrated communism by Pharaoh and always with the help of Templar Switzerland, who let their Lenin lose on the Russian people. But the French and Russians, they tried at least. The problem though with the Germans, they went unhappy they always beat down and not up. They always blame the minority, thus doing exactly what the perpetrators of their problems want them to do. The word and name Pegida has a very feminine sound, as in Spanish where the A ending is feminine and the O ending masculine, which even in Russian is so with the OVA ending. Well, ancient Egypt was a matriarchy indeed, and not by good-hearted women, but more for witches and Isis lesbians. In Spanish, Pegida also sounds like pequeña, meaning tiny or small, or should we say perfida instead. Anyway, it doesn't sound German at all, because all original Germanic names of the Abendland end with a consonant, like Baum, Himmel, Stamm, Volk, Deutsch, Land, Wald, Wolf, Tier, Mann, Mensch, and not with some 
feminine vowel of Pharaoh's Isis bit, like in Pegida. <laughs> and in Pharaonic, Pe means this, Gi means to lie, as in slander, and the land or world, Pagi the, or this land of slander, or this world of lies, the very words of Seth on. Lord of Darkness, referring to what believers call God's creation, which Sethon, Seton, calls the world of lies to his followers. And Muslims are strong believers in God's or Allah's creation, making Pegida, this world of lies, the perfect slogan defining Seth, Seton's true world. So the word Pegida is as un-German as the word Nazi, which comes from the Italian word word nationalismo, therefore written with a Z, as in Italian, where Mussolini already was in power long before Hitler was, therefore taking over the Italian word for a nationalist, and ending the Italian way with an I as so many an Italian word as Pirelli, Fratelli, or you name it, and again with a non-Germanic ending. Plus, the word nationalist in German is written with a T, as in English. So here you can see Mr. Himmler, the Swiss Mr. Himmler, he was an ethnic Swiss, and he said Islam uh, resembles our view of the world, word, world very much. So he said, Islam resembles the view of our world very much. And Hitler said the same things. When I heard the word Pegida for the first time, I thought of a Buddhist pagoda, of that equally pharaonic religion, as all religions of the world are. And guess what? Etymologically, the word pagoda comes from the Chinese words pa ko ta meaning the octagon tower, where pa means eight in Chinese. Here it says, pa ko ta, here is in Chinese. That means the word, that's the word for pagoda. Well, here it is. In China, there was an eight-cornered uh, tower, octagon. I mean, they ruled the world, and all Chinese emperors, they were pharaohs. Uh, it is well known and well spread that the, the Chinese emperors, they were not Chinese, but Mongols. And, uh, well, they, the Mongols were very much connected to, uh, to pharaoh. As in the uh, uh, Khazar, the Khazar uh, Mon Mongols. Ka, it is, it is the, uh, the soul, the living power of the soul when alive, the life, the intrinsic life energy, and sa, it means a king. So that means the soul of kings, they are there. And these are Mongols, the Khazars. And uh, they are pharaohs. So here's a connection with uh, Octogon. And it's all in the name. It's, I mean, symbols don't lie. So Pegida is again another aristocratic organization led by Swiss Octogon, and I call him therefore Perfida.